looks meme -y. Did you see the hot take on Henry Cavill from some writer of The Witcher? Is that even a real source? I read that today. But is that even real? Like, I couldn't find any information on who wrote that. It just seemed, like, completely made up. What, like, what was... The, who was even the source? Where did it come from? Thanks for some Shane in the prime, Riz. The tier one gloomy and the resub Novlix and Flanders. Person who tweeted it must have threatened to get sued because they deleted it. No, the original post didn't come from the person who wrote that piece. The original post, at least as far back as I could find, came from someone just calling it another uh, hit piece on Henry Cavill. I couldn't find at all where it even generated from. It actually did feel like it was an AI-generated Henry Cavill hit piece, but it did the exact opposite. As a hit piece, it had the opposite effect because it actually made Henry Cavill look really good. Thanks for the gift sub, Cinnamon. Has Henry Cavill responded? No, he's not going to either. Thanks for the gift sub, Reckless. Why would he? Dude said some weirdo shit in the past. Wouldn't be surprised if he did bad stuff. Henry Cavill? That's news to me. He's like the most squeaky clean actor in Hollywood that I know of. Up there with like Brendan Fraser and Keanu Reeves, man. Like, I don't know what dirt you're talking about. Are you talking about during the Me Too thing where he's like, it actually makes me just afraid to date people? Because that, that whole take was actually pretty level-headed if you read what he said. He was like, yeah, I just, I try and keep away from dating. It's just kind of a weird scene. Like, it was a pretty reasonable thing to say. He's a gamer, of course he has skeletons in his closet. He is a gamer. He might have some some weird shit in his past for sure. It like I just don't know any of it. The only thing that I, I think people take an issue with was that statement he made on dating back during like the, the Me Too thing. But it was it was a pretty like level headed thing to say. He didn't say anything outlandish or anything disrespectful. I need a tier one heaven and the resub crying. And the resub pato. Yeah, I know. The CoffeeZilla video has been popping. I'm saving myself for all three parts. I just, I don't want to be left in suspense. I'm waiting for all three parts to drop. Thanks to Tier 1 Heaven and the Prime Quincy and Resub Andromeda. And the Prime Run. What happened to Henry Cavill? Okay, here, I'll just, I'll bring up... The post. I again, this seems AI generated. It doesn't seem like this was real. This seems like a manufactured piece of drama. But here, uh, where is it? No, I can't even find it. Did it get deleted? Oh, well, yeah, it actually might have been deleted. Okay, I guess just to summarize, it had claimed that one of the staff members of Witcher was saying, like, 
Henry was very hard to work with and disrespectful, didn't like take any of the writing seriously and wanted all kinds of big sweeping changes that he'd make himself without consulting any of us. He was uncooperative for sex scenes and shirtless scenes, but then they even made sure to specify he wasn't like creepy or like grabby with female staff. It was just a really weird piece. Because all it did was convey that Henry Cavill cared significantly more about the source material and the show's quality than the writers did. That was like the main criticism, is that he wanted changes to a script that was going off of the source material. But I don't think it was real either, because I couldn't even find where that generated from. Like, I don't think that even came from someone on the Witcher staff. And for some reason, that article kept mentioning that he's a gamer. Henry Cavill is a known gamer, so he'd bring that gamer bro culture to the workplace was one of the things that he'd say. It was, it was fucking weird. It didn't seem like a real thing. Here's the resub doves, Adam fried super fell in the gift sub cocoa in the prime springs. He had written in his contract during Enola Holmes to not have underage co-star ask him any questions other than professional ones. <laughs> what? I, I didn't see Enola Holmes. I know that's the uh, Millie Bobby Brown series, though. <laughs> I mean, with the way Hollywood treats Henry Cavill, I don't even think that's a bad thing to have written in the contract. Have you seen the interviews he does? Half the time they're just asking him questions about his body and asking him about being shirtless. That's probably a boilerplate thing that he has in all of his contracts now. Please stop the women from asking me these kind of questions. But yeah, that is that is a, a wacky thing to be in a contract, I guess. Is there sub enormous Pablo and the Prime Fox? I played Escape from Tarkov. I just didn't really like it. Will you watch the Warhammer show? Yeah, of course I will. I love the universe, it's just a large thing to try and get into. Like, that is such a huge undertaking, so hopefully, if that all goes well, it's a good entry point for people to get into Warhammer, because I think the universe is amazing.